Hey guys, I just wanted to make this little video for the guys that are looking for information on the Sun G inverters and versus the N phase inverters. You can see here the total input into the grid is 1,303. It's a real cloudy day, very overcast, so it's not the best day to be doing this, but you can see up here MTU1 is five 500 watt Sun G grid tie inverters that you plug into your wall and MTU2 is 11 end phase inverters both MTUs have the same amount of solar panels hooked to them MTU1 has 1800 watts hooked to it MTU2 also has 1800 watts hooked to it. You see here, MTU2 has nine 150 watt panels and two 225 watt panels. And MTU1 has 12 150 watt panels. So each setup is 1800 watts. You can see the difference here. This isn't the best time of the year for this test either because uh, the sun is pretty low in the sky. And the angle that my uh, solar array is on is not really set up for winter. Like I said, MTU1 is the 500 watt plug-in inverters. There's five of them. MTU2 is 11 N-phase inverters. I think they're 190 N-phase inverters. Of course, the price of the N-phase is probably double what it would cost for the Sun G's that plug into the wall. I'm not saying I like or dislike either one of these setups. This is just the results I get from them. To me it really doesn't matter as long as they work. I would have to say that the Sun G's are a pretty good product. They're outside in a little box that's got a lot of holes in it and everything and they're out there in the middle of winter. And they just keep plugging along. The end phase was made to be outdoors so that has no excuses. Watch well, that. I don't know if we'll be able to see the array or not. Out the window here. I'll take a little walk. Check one more time here. MTU2 is the end phase. MTU1 is the Sun G's. They both have 1800 watts going through them. Take a little look at the array and these windmills, which I don't know why these windmills are spinning the way they are. There's hardly any wind at all. See this flag right here? And in the background you can see the... Or maybe you can't, but... These windmills. I don't know if it's because I have them low to the ground and the wind's getting through the trees. five feet off the ground. That one's about eight feet off the ground. This one here, the wind max is 30 feet up. I'm not saying anything bad about this wind max. I know all my videos end up without the wind max turning, but the wind max is a great turbine. Just needs a couple extra mile per hour is to get it started from the wind. Once it gets started that thing cranks. These two turbines, like I said, they're right on the ground. Anyhow, here's the solar array. There's 21 panels on this big array. 
the bottom nine are on end phase, plus these two big ones on the end, which are two, I think they're 224 watt. I just call them 225 to make it even. They're all in end phase. And then the top row, top nine, plus the third row of three, are all on five, 500 watt Sun G's. Like I said, these Sun G's are outside in the winter here. See right now they're putting out 370. They're all working. It's hard to tell. You see those lights going. Those lights are going. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but you have to take my word for it. They're all moving. I'm not set up right now to have each one uh, on its own kilowatt meter so we can see what they're doing, but maybe someday I will. These will get right up there and put out some good power too. Like I said, they're just in this box outside. A gaping hole in the back here for air to go through. I just have a little tarp over it. And every once in a while you gotta reach in there and clean out the critter nest. You know, turbines are just about stopped. Alright, so those are the results from that. Let's go back inside here, maybe we'll, maybe the clouds will clear a little bit and we can get a good reading. Doesn't look too promising. I think we're supposed to get some wind, so hopefully we can get some video of those turbines making some power. See this flag here starting to move. No, I'm not gonna stand out here and freeze it this week for those to turn. I'm not breaking any records here. We got a thousand watts coming in. MTU2, which is the end phase, it's got 702 watts. MTU1, which is the five 500 watt G's, has about 500. I've seen almost 3,000 watts out of this setup. I think my high was 29 something. Alright guys. Those are the numbers. I know some of you guys are big number crunchers out there. You might be able to figure out what the efficiencies of each one are. We're up a little bit, 1400. Like I said, it's real overcast out there today. And we can get a little, see what we made for the day so far. It's 11.51 now, so we made 2.3 kilowatts today. Let's see if we can do this or not. Sorry about the poor video here, but. So MTU1, which is the Sun G's, has made 0.9 kilowatts, so almost a kilowatt. And MTU2, which is the end phase, has made 1.4 kilowatts. And they both have 1800 watts fed into them. So that's the results. Hopefully some of you guys will watch the video. Like I said earlier, I'm not one of those guys who really cares which is better than the other. I don't want to say anything bad about any of the products, but those are the results. Thanks for watching.